the Embassy of India established an evening reception on board the Indian naval ship TEG. This ship has been deployed extensively for numerous missions, including for anti-piracy operations in the Gulf of Aden and has been providing maritime security in the region also. The docking of the naval ship in Kuwait coincides with the 60th anniversary celebration of diplomatic relations between the Republic of India and the state of Kuwait. A naval vessel from the Indian Navy Inns take arrived in Shuek port for an operational turnaround on July 18th, 2022. It is scheduled to last until July 21st, 2022. India and Kuwait have excellent relationship. And this year particularly we are celebrating the 60th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations and also the 75th anniversary of India's independence. So we are uh, building that relationship in a big way and one of the important developments is the visit of this ship. This is a very important ship in the Indian Navy and it is contributing immensely for the stability in the Indian Ocean. So I am very happy that this ship has come here today and this will definitely help in promoting the bilateral relationship particularly between our two navies and also defense relationship between the two countries. A number of missions have been carried out by INSTEG, including anti-piracy operations in the Gulf of Aden, maritime security in the seas of Indians, maritime partners' nations, and exercises with other regional navies. We are very happy to be here at Kuwait. It will help us strengthen our relationships with uh, Kuwait and also enable us to have interoperability with the Kuwaiti naval forces. And we're looking forward for having positive interaction with uh, forces at Kuwait. And we are honored to be over here. The state of Kuwait and the Republic of India agreed to strengthen cooperation and partnerships in various fields. So this visit to Kuwait will strengthen the deep rooted as the friendly ties between India and Kuwait, as well as the growing cooperation between the two countries. Hadil Fahad reporting to Kuwait English News.